As if neighbors haven't gone through enough this month, now some face another challenge. Thanks for joining us. I'm Emma Heaton. And I'm Taylor Words. Some people were forced to evacuate from Milton, hoping their homes would be salvageable. What they didn't expect were thieves waiting to take advantage and looting what they had left before they returned. The Night Beats Maddie Heron joins us live on Beach Road near Minnesota Key. Maddie, we know two people have been arrested. What was stolen? When it comes to one of those burglaries that was at a Port Charlotte storage locker, we know that over $2,000 worth of items were stolen, such as Apple products and a 15 inch monitor. Meanwhile, at a home here on Beach Road, we know that things like jewels, laptops, even a generator and other valuables were taken from that home. Even so, many Minnesota Key residents are nervous because their homes look like this broken structure behind me. They fear that that's an open invitation for looters. It's been a week since Hurricane Milton, and Burton Webb is still digging out his home. The storm took so much from Minnesota Key, but prowling looters are looking to take more. It's a shame if it's happening. I mean, most of us, as you can look around, we don't have anything to steal. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office announced Friday that these men were arrested for burglaries, one from a Port Charlotte storage unit and the other a Minnesota Key home. Though unrelated, the Sheriff's Office said both are a part of a larger trend, looting in evacuation zones. You have people that are leaving their homes unsure of what they're going to come back to and then to come home and find this it's just despicable. Stealing from people like Webb who have just lost everything. The TV, the couches, the art, the refrigerator, stove, dishwasher, 100% gone. It's gone hundreds of yards away. So there's really nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. Yet Webb and his neighbors protect but little they have left. This is probably number two of my collection that I'm starting over. A shark tooth, one of the thousands Webb's wife Karen lost in the storm. In the midst of the rubble and the destruction, a glimmer of hope, they can find more out there, but this is mine. A sign that even looters can't take everything of value. I personally spoke to Sheriff Bill Prumel after Hurricane Milton about this this rise in looting, especially on Minnesota Key. He told me that, that that type of crime has no place in his county and his department is trying to hold everyone accountable. Even so, many Islanders tell me that they are still nervous for whatever little they have left. Live on the Night Beat, Maddie Heron, Wink News.